I just woke up here in California, 7.30, something like that. And I Googled my uh, letter to Irene Huffington. And I've got a pretty good pickup. This was on Business Wire. I just called my uh, office. And I'm having them put it out now on um, what? PR Newswire and Market Wire. And um, so this is, um, what is today, Tuesday? So I've got pretty good pickup. I've got almost two, two full pages of pickup. My guess is that what you'll see as the day goes on is this will evaporate as the government goes to work to, um, you know, try to minimize the impact I'm, I'm having here. Uh, and I did this because the Huffington Post, um, you know, back before Ariana, Ariana sold it to, um, uh, what is it, AOL, my blogs would post within 15 minutes and they'd be re uh, placed prominently on the website. And in the last few months, my blogs have uh, taken up to five days to post and they were buried so deep in the website that nobody could see them. I remember one day on the front, so, so Obama's trying to close the SBA and end all federal programs for small businesses, which will be absolutely devastating for the small business economy. The Huffington Post didn't even put that on the front page of the small business section, but there was a story on the front page of the business section about uh, that some woman wrote about Chelsea Clinton can't decide what to do with her career. So the Huffington Post guys decided that um, a story about what you know, Chelsea Clinton should do with her career was more important than the closure of the 50-year-old federal agency, the only agency there to help the 28 million small businesses where most Americans work. And um, what do you think? You think that's like a natural, normal thing? Like it's not newsworthy? So I've written dozens and dozens and dozens of press releases and blogs, and I've done TV shows, I predicted Obama would do this in, what was that, November of 2008. And to date, not one journalist in America has written a story talking about, about the fact that President Obama's plan to close the SBA is identical in every single way to the plan that Ronald Reagan came up with in um, 1985 to close the SBA. So um, I'm seeing if Arianna Huffington will help me continue to fight for small businesses and be the voice of small business. By the way, go online and try to find anybody on earth other than Lloyd Allen Chapman that's objecting to President Obama's plan to close the SBA. See, see what you can find. You won't find anybody but me.